Let's look at the next one. Now, <clears throat> I look at this angle, and I kind of notice something. This angle's rather big, all right? So I want to see, maybe there's a couple ways to do this, all right? Um, the first way is to graph it as we know how to graph it, right? So we can just break this up into force. It's a negative, so we're going to be going in the negative direction, right? And we'll break everything up into force. Now, watch what happens when I follow this. Do I have another color? Did you, could you throw me the red? Uh, orange, sorry, that's all I can reach. So if we follow the orange, all right, pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 8 pi over 4, 9 pi over 4. OK? And then we could see that's exactly what that angle looks like. One, two, three, four. Remember, this is pi. Remember, pi is half, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So you could go all the way around and then graph the angle at nine, negative nine pi over four. But the problem is, guys, would you want to graph this if I said, you know, negative ninety-nine pi over four? No, no, no. Not, right? Okay. So what we can also do is use our other definition from last class period, which was coterminal angles. Coterminal angles are angles that have the same initial and terminal side. Could you actually give me that red? Because um, I need that. Wouldn't you guys agree that we could also, if we just graph this angle, we would have the same initial and terminal side, yeah. right? Without doing the loop around. So wouldn't you guys agree the loop around is kind of just extra stuff right now? OK. Now, obviously, we can figure out the reference angle in, in, from that for rather easily. But I also want you guys to understand that you can write this, what we call, in terms of a peri in period as an aid. We can say this is negative 8 pi over 4 plus negative pi over 4. And the reason being is because this is just equivalent to negative 2 pi. right? And negative 2 pi, guys, is just a revolution. It doesn't really change the initial or terminal side of the angle. It's just extra rotation, correct? So using our understanding of coterminal angles, negative pi over 4 and negative 9 pi over 4 are coterminal because they have the same initial and terminal side. So I can use my understanding of that, Jacques, just to understand how far am I, if I go from here to here, which is negative pi over 4, how far am I away from the x-axis? Uh, pi over 4. Because just like I said, if we're talking about angles and radians, we're going to keep angles and radians. So therefore, you guys can see the reference angle is just pi over 4. Yes? The reference angle is a measurement. It's not does not deal with direction. So it's always just going to be a positive angle. Okay?